I tried cleaning out the charge port of this iPhone 16. It didn't work. It's still wiggly, so we're going to have to do charge port replacement. I already took off the back here. If you want to know how to take off the back, check out the video. Click up here on the top right, and I'll bring you to that video. Otherwise, um, I'm going to show you the charge port, and we're going to put this in. It's from Mobile Centrix, and I'm going to introduce you to this video sponsor. This is this video sponsor, Cell Helmet, and they provided me with this Magnitude Series case, which wirelessly charges through the case. And they provided me with this wireless charger so I can show you guys just how it works. And I wanted to point out, it is amazing. I did a brake test video while I was wearing this and it didn't break. First, we're gonna grab out our plastic spudger and we'll disconnect the charge port and the e the microphone connection and also it connects everything else I believe they I don't know which one each one does exactly but it's part of the charge port so we're gonna get it taken off here and then we'll grab out our PH and Y triple zero screwdriver bits and remove this bracket that's right underneath the cables remove the PH triple zero screw and the Y triple zero screw down on the corner there Once the screws are removed, grab your bended tweezers and lift out the bracket. Perfect. After that bracket is removed, it reveals a screw, which is a standoff screw. And you're going to need that screw bit out for the whole repair. So we'll grab ours out of our iPhone kit. And I'll have a link of all the tools in the description below that I use during these repairs. All right, I'm using the iFixit screwdriver bit and uh, we'll unscrew this screw and this screw holds down what would be the sim card tray in the uk but in the us it is just some sort of weight or something but it has the vibrating motor connected through it so if you're having issues with your vibrating motor it could be that part in between the two that connects it to the logic board grab your ph triple zero screwdriver bit remove these four screws holding down the vibrating motor. After you get the screws removed, you'll have to remove this bracket, and I recommend using bended tweezers to pick up the screws as well, because they don't seem to like to magnetize while it's near the vibrating motor. It's because they are ran by magnets and it may cause it not to magnetize. All right, so we'll grab out our brackets and our screws, and the one on the far right is definitely one that uh, gives me a hard time every time I try to take it out. Remove the vibrating motor connection with your plastic spudger on the flat end and then you can just flick it out and grab it with your hands. Remove these two standoff screws holding down that metal bracket and then you'll also have to disconnect the FPC connector that holds it down. Once you got those screws removed, disconnect the FPC connector up here on the top on the main board or logic board, whatever you may want to call it. And then we'll just lift out the bracket and it has some adhes adhesive holding it down. And you'll just want to pull it off gently or use some heat if you have to. We'll get unscrewing here. Uh, the pink is standoff screwdriver. Uh, yellow is Y triple zero screwdriver. And green is a PH triple zero screwdriver. You're going to have to remove all these screws to get the charge port out. Perfect. Once we got all those screws removed, we can grab out the loudspeaker. Comes out nice and easy. But we want to get that PH000 screw removed from the bottom right corner. And it's held down by this bracket that is held down by a standoff screw. So we'll get the standoff screw removed and then remove the bracket. So then we can remove the PH000 screw. It has an FPC connector that you got to pull off to make sure you pull out the microphone correctly which is a nice feature that you can remove this and replace the microphone without having to replace the whole charge port. So this phone is definitely the right to repair. If you're looking to buy a phone that's going to last you 10 years, this is it. So there's going to be some PH000 screws right here on the edge, and I'll lift it up again here just to show you. You're going to remove these two PH000 screws on the edge of the charge port. It is kind of hard to get your screwdriver to snag on there. This iFixit one is a little bit wide on the top part of it, so then it kind of hit the battery weird, but I was still able to get them out, and it was manageable. So you shouldn't have to remove the battery to unscrew these. 
We'll grab our Y triple zero screwdriver and unscrew the two screws on the edge here. And then there's going to be some on the other side, um, just one Y triple zero screw and you'll remove those. And then we can remove the charge port fully. All right. So now we can start pulling out the charge port. I recommend using a little bit of alcohol or some heat if you don't have alcohol and use the alcohol to help you loosen the adhesive and you'll be able to pull out the charge port fully just like so. We'll get the charge port taken out of here and then we will put it back together and I will show you in the video ahead. So please like and subscribe if you liked my video this far. I got my part from mobilecentrics.com and you can get it there yourself. And if you want me to do the repair for you, you can always mail in your repair and email me mark at worthitrepairs.com and we'll get that all set up. We'll grab our Y triple zero screw and screw in the one screw on the very far left side of the phone. And then we'll screw in the screws for the charge port and then work our way over to the Y triple zero screws, the two of them on the edge. Screw in the PH triple zero screws on the edge. Once you have the screws installed on the charge port side, you'll want to screw down this PH triple zero screw first before laying down the microphone and you'll want to screw it down a little bit and then connect it on once you have it connected on you might need to shift around that screw to make sure it aligns correctly sure to install the standoff screw on the top left before you put in the loudspeaker and i want to make sure i point that out because you don't really see it in the video as i put it in i want to put the other standoff screw where the bracket is for the microphone. I want to put the other standoff screw on the top right of the bracket, and then we're going to get the loudspeaker and we'll put that in so we can put the final um, standoff screw in. After you get that screw in, then you can put the loudspeaker in and put the final standoff screw in right here above the charge port. Want to put in the green PH triple zero screws in and then the yellow Y triple zero screws in these spots. Now for the weight thing that connects the vibrating motor to the logic board or main board, you'll want to route the, uh, FPC connector, the flex cable between the battery and the logic board, and then hold it down and screw down two standoff screws on the bottom part. You're going to want to screw down that bracket that holds down the cables and use your PA000 screw and your Y000 screwdriver for the bracket. Now we can connect the charge board and the microphone connection to the logic board and you'll have to maneuver it in a certain way so then it connects on. You'll feel it connect with your finger if you use your finger to connect it. Most charge ports will come with this little plastic bracket pre-installed on them, but this one didn't. So I'm going to have to slide it in underneath this connector here and then we can grab the vibrating motor and put that in. And now we have something to push it down on top of. And then grab your PH000 screw driver and screw in the final PH000 screws. And then we'll plug it in and give it a good test. Now we can connect the battery. And to get it to turn on, we're going to have to connect the battery, then plug it into the charger. And since we replaced the charge port, and that's what we're going to test, then if it doesn't turn on, it could be something like a wrong connection isn't connected right, or something is wrong with the charge port you put in. It could be defective. But also, this part is not paired to the motherboard, so you don't have to worry about having it paired to the motherboard at the end of the repair. And same goes with the vibrating motor, and you don't have to replace the vibrating motor when you do this repair. It's just something that I replaced in a previous video. Perfect, it's charging it. We want to also test the microphone and also the loudspeaker since those are parts that you took out to do this repair. And uh, if you want to learn how to put the back on 
you'll have to go to this next video and just click right here if you want to learn how to put the back on.